Hello and welcome back to Learn JavaScript on Code Academy. We're in the loop section. This is looping in reverse. What if we want the for loop to log 3, 2, 1, and then 0? With simple modifications to the expressions, we can make our loop run backward. To run a backward for loop, we must set the iterator variable to the highest desired value in the initialization expression. Set the stopping condition for when the iterator variable is less than the desired amount. The iterator should decrease in intervals after each iteration. We'll practice by changing the for we wrote previously to now go in reverse. When writing or changing loops, there is a chance that our stopping condition isn't met and we get a dreaded infinite loop, which essentially stops our programming from running anything else. To exit out of an infinite loop in an exercise, refresh the page, then fix the code for your loop. Instructions. Make a for loop that loops backwards, putting 3, 2, 0 to the console. Use the greater than or equals comparison operator in your stopping condition and the minus minus operator or decrement operator in your iteration statement. So let's zoom out. Let's do that here. Let's start with counter three, and it says to use greater than or equals. So, so right now counter starts at three, and we're saying as long as three is greater than zero, we want to decrement counter by one. So this will start off as three log three because three is greater than or equal to zero. We'll get 3, and it'll go to 2, 1, and then it'll get to 0. Print 0 because 0 is greater than or equal to 0, and log 0. And that's where it would stop. And let's run this. We do get 3, 2, 1, 0, and we passed. So this lesson, looping in reverse, just taught us how to use decrement operator to help us loop backwards. To run that backwards for loop, we set the iterator variable to the highest desired value in our initialization expression and then we set the stopping condition for when the iterator is less than the desired amount then the iterator should decrease in the intervals after each iteration as long as you guys are getting that you guys got this lesson and i'll see you in the next one